Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for March 16th through March 31st, 2020. Welcome back subscribers. Hope you all are doing well. Um, we are moving into the season of Aries as well as the Aries new moon on the 24th. We're coming out of Mercury retrograde. We're starting the new astrological calendar year. So there's kind of a lot happening in the end of March. So, you know, be aware of some of those energies that will be affecting you. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the globe at this point. This is my full-time work for the past a little over two years now. So thank you guys for keeping me so busy um, week after week after week. Um, all the information for the distance energy healing and therapy is on my website below. You can read about the benefits, check out the different testimonials that are there for you. Um, and also you'll see there is a really great 15% discount for first time energy clients. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. So it's 15% off your very first energy session with me, or if you've had a reading with me in the past, you can still take advantage of that it's first time energy client discount so um, again the link is below for the discount and thank you all for the likes the shares the subscribes I just love how active you guys are on the channel it really amazes me week after week after week so um, that's it we're gonna get straight into the readings now Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for March 16th through the 31st, 2020. Happy birthday to those few of you who are still celebrating. I've already fully shuffled, so let's just get straight into your reading. Wow. Okay, Pisces. First cards out, I've got seven of swords and three of swords. So there is something going on either within you or with somebody that you're dealing with around past hurt, honesty, communication, or the lack there of communication, somebody getting away with something. And it's really interesting because I've got those two out here with this double card. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I just feel there's something here with communication around this relationship that really needs to be addressed. Because I feel someone isn't sharing everything or being fully transparent or honest, and it's either triggered from past pain and past hurt, or it's causing pain and hurt. Okay? So that's going to be different for each of you since this is a general reading. You could be dealing with an air sign also, a lot of um, sword energy. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then again, the, the Capricorn devil card out here. Let me see what else I've got for you. Okay, you are going to overcome this. That's good. I'm happy to see that. Wow, okay. King of Pentacles, Strength, and the Emperor. Okay, there could be more than two people involved here. I'm getting two different energies with the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. So these are definitely two different people. And I feel with the Strength card in the middle, Pisces, there might be a decision that you have to make around letting one of those these people go. It may not even necessarily be a romantic relationship. This could be, you know, like um, a father-like figure, a mentor, a manager, some sort of connection or relationship here. But I just feel there's something off. There's a lot of very masculine energy in this reading with the devil, the king of pentacles, and the emperor. So somebody could be quite controlling and a little bit manipulative with you right now. Um, I think that's a very important message. So... You should know who that is if that's resonating with you. And I feel like your job right now, Pisces, is to hone into yourself, your center, that place of strength within you, and remind yourself that you don't have to fix anybody. You don't have to fix anybody, okay? Wow, that's a very direct message. Um, let me see what else I've got for you. 
Ooh, wow. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. So I do see you getting to a stable, independent place within yourself, okay? And I honestly, this Queen of Cups, I feel, is a new love coming in for you. This other situation may not necessarily be with love. I think this could be with a boss or a father figure or um, someone around you that has very masculine energy. So that could be male or female. Um, the manipulation could be coming from male or female. It's just a very more controlling masculine energy that I'm feeling, okay? But I feel like you're willing to let go of the fear and move past whatever this person has maybe contributed or brought onto you because I see you moving forward into a stable, happy, clear space without this person, okay? So again, it could be a manager. I'm not necessarily feeling romance here with the emperor and the king of pentacles. For some of you, it could be. Um, but there's been dishonesty. There's been manipulation. That's what this devil energy is here. Someone is controlling you or has like pulled the wool over your eyes, but you're breaking free from that. You're going to break free from that, Pisces, and tune into your heart, your true cup, and you know what you have to offer and who you want to offer it to. So just be aware. I feel that is a strong message for you. Be aware. But that strength card is in the center. So it tells me that you are going to make the best decisions for you. You're not going to necessarily get enrolled um, into this situation with this person because I think your wisdom is much stronger. I think you're listening to the intuition and you're trusting Okay, which all link into that strength card. So good job on that. Yes, the last message for you, signs. That's what trusting the intuition is, right? Listening to those signs, trusting them, and letting, you know, decisions be made from those versus the mind kind of getting in the way or maybe needing to analyze or understand. You may not always understand why things are the way they are, but it's just allowing that movement to still happen, okay? So I hope that resonates with you. If not, you can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus, or your Jupiter. Thank you for the comments below the video. I really do love reading all your comments, so thank you for that. Um, if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist, and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy, so it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. All the information is on the website listed below about the energy therapy and the distance energy healing um, that I specialize in. You can also you know, read about the benefits, check out the testimonials, and you'll see a really awesome 15% discount for first-time energy clients. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. Um, and I think that's it, Pisces. So I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of March, and I will see you guys back here for the first half of April readings. Take care.